SSO Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living and I just wanted to do a, another aquaponics update or walkthrough. I'm going to try to do them every two weeks just so you can keep track of the progress and see how things are going and um, how good or bad things end up here. So, <laughs> um, so far things are doing pretty well. Uh, this is actually, what do they say, every gardener has like a pride and joy. This is the, the pride and joy right now of the aquaponics, a little broccoli plant. It's really doing well. Um, it's doing better than anything else so far. I think it's because the pH is pretty high. Still, I'm working on bringing the pH down real slowly over the next few weeks. Um, the broccoli plant doesn't seem to care. It really took off. So it's been in here for two weeks. And this one right here, I put in a week ago. They both were planted at the same time. This one stayed a week longer in the uh, seed pot. And this one compared to this one in the aquaponics there's like a huge difference so I know the aquaponics system is working um, I would say five to ten times bigger the leaves are huge on it it's been growing really quick it's got a um, good little stock growing on and everything so compared to this little guy um, this one's doing pretty good it perked up since I put it in here too so these seem to be really well with a higher pH everything else is not doing quite as well with the high pH um, certain varieties of lettuce like this one here, these are doing all right. And if you, on the first one, I did a quick overview of these grow beds two weeks ago, and these were tiny little scraps laying in here. Um, they're all yellowing and stuff again because the pH is so high, the iron, and they can't absorb nutrients properly and stuff. So as soon as I get that uh, pH to come down, this stuff's gonna take off a lot better. Um, as I mentioned in some of the other videos. Um, something I'm still working on, I'm actually <clears throat> have this grow bed that's not finished yet, just kind of, uh, boiling over here I'm just cycling water through it and it's just overflowing into the pipe um, this I'm using to add chemicals to not chemicals I suppose but in this case I'm adding a pH down solution aqua down this one's called it's some type of uh, um, acidic solution you basically just add a little bit of it here uh, I've added uh, over the last week about half the bottle I suppose so the problem I'm having is because I do have hard water, <clears throat> as you can see the water is kind of a yellowy tint, that's all the rust and minerals and stuff like that in the water. Because I have that, that uh, hard water, it's actually making it really hard for me to bring up the, or bring down the pH levels in the system. So, um, something I'm working on and kind of learning, I'll probably have to add a little bit of that each week until I get the pH down around seven and then I'll probably leave it there for a little while. The problem I've been having is I keep topping off the system and cleaning things and stuff like that and adding a bunch more hard water to it, and so I end up bringing the pH right back up. I didn't realize that until recently, so I'm going to stop doing that, but um, the oregano in here, it's <clears throat> been doing pretty well, but as you can see, the leaves are browning and things. It's actually having a hard time absorbing the nutrients, too, with the higher pH, I think. Or, and, um, so Got two pepper plants down here. Same thing with these, the one on the right has been in the aquaponics for a week longer. The one on the left is just was just put in there. So they've both been growing for two weeks total. Um, the one on the left-hand side, the smaller one, was just kept in the seed pot for a week longer. I put the other one in earlier. So the aquaponics definitely does a lot better for these bell peppers. The, the leaves are a little bit browning and stuff on the, on the, the uh, pepper plant, but it seems to be growing pretty quickly. Um, and again, I think that's part of the pH issue, so. But the whole system overall has been working really good. I got my second uh, light done, so I've got two two lights up here. I've got the parts to make the other two as well once they get rocking there. Um, I threw a bunch of uh, <coughs> miscellaneous lettuces in here. Again, not sure how they're gonna do. They all look pretty wilted right now. Um, that's the same way that these ones looked when I first put them in too, and then a week, about a week later, they perked up, so. We'll see how these do. There's a bunch of iceberg, the little pieces of iceberg lettuce in here. I separated all out, and the, the bunches and clusters here are a bunch of romaine lettuce that grew. Um, I just transplanted those in here, so. But overall, the system's been working really well. Uh, I haven't had any problems, any leaks. The bell siphons have been cycling pretty well. Um, I took the nylons off. I'm not using those for filters anymore. Um, I've got, really haven't had any problems with <clears throat> any uh, solids or anything like that so um, did all the chemistry tests on the system and it's actually you know there's almost zero ammonia um, zero nitrates now and all the nitrates are building up so it's definitely the, the nitrification is working really well 
Um, I was actually pretty excited to finally see that because the first couple of tests I did, it was like pH was off the chart, the nitrate was off the chart, the nitrates were at zero, and the ammonia was off the chart. So um, it took a few weeks for everything to get started. So if you're just starting up, give it some time. Um, and the more rock you have in the system, the more biological material, the better and faster it's gonna gonna work. So, um, but the fish have been doing good too. I haven't uh, lost any more. I don't think maybe one since the last video two weeks ago. So the last aquaponics update. Um, I think I said I had around 80, and I think that's where I'm still at. So they're all I think they're getting fed. So they're coming up to the top here. <coughs> been feeding them a mix of different things. I bought this gigantic, to show you how big it is here, um, compare it to my hand, I don't know, it's, it's a big, <laughs> it's a big bucket of, uh, of fish food. So this is just standard goldfish flakes um, that I've been using with a little Play-Doh container to feed them with. And I've been feeding them really lightly over the last few weeks just because I'm trying to get the system started. I want to pump it full of ammonia. Now I'm starting to step up their feeding a little bit. And I'm also putting these little granules in, and I tried these out. Um, I seem to have like half the fish that hang around towards the bottom and half the fish that will come up to the top. So I've been trying to mix the food a little bit, so if something gets down to the bottom, these granules will sink down to the bottom and they'll eat them off the bottom there. And then these ones will float towards the top and they'll come up and eat them off the top. So, But um, the fish have been doing good, so no more dying fish. I think that was just a matter of having a lot of those feeder fish in there. A lot of them die just they are sick and diseased and whatever else and they die so but that's pretty much it i'm going to try to keep the updates coming every couple weeks here um every two weeks i'll do an update and uh we'll kind of see the progress hopefully in two weeks i'll have the other at least one more grow bed finished and have it full of rock and have another light done and we'll keep on keep on expanding the system once i get all this done hopefully i'll be able to um build another set here and just keep on expanding it so um, keep following along if you want. I uh, appreciate any feedback you guys have, anything you see that I'm doing wrong or could do better or changes I could make and things like that. If you guys have questions and you're putting up a system, I, I do monitor the channel pretty regularly, so throw a comment up there if you have anything, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I uh, appreciate you watching, and uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, and we appreciate you watching the video. Have a good one.